Hey guys, Stephanie Dees here with Stephanie Dees Stamps, and I want to, um, uh, you'll see a, a photo of the, um, of the card that I'm going to make, but this card, sometimes I have a hard time making a card or any project without using a lot of, um, um, oh my gosh, a lot of stamp sets, and I love to just cross over and use everything that I've got. So um, this card is um, one that you've seen on my Facebook page and it uses the uh, a sentiment from Hello Friends. Um, thinking of my friend today, that's what we're going to use there and that one is here. It's a wood block. Sometimes I like to get the wood blocks. Um, then we're going to use the flower from the Falling Flowers, that one. And then we're going to use the, um, that's fa Falling Flowers, and then we're going to use the Mayflower Framelits dies. And we're going to use the outline that matches that flower. And um, we're going to do that. And then we're going to use the Little Bumble from the Detailed Dragon Thinlet dies. And that's all we're going to use, but I was showing you the Dragonfly Dreams. These have some really cute sayings, and I could have used that, but... I don't know, I was doing like a thank you card or thinking of my friend today card, so um, we're going to use that. So we're going to use these two. And uh, you know what, let's get started. Um, the other things you'll need are um, Whisper White, and I'm going to do that first. Actually from Falling Flowers, we actually use the um, large floral um, stamp set to create a background. So you've got the five and a half by four and a quarter card. It doesn't matter if something's on there because, see, it's a half sheet. So this started out as eight and a half by 11 card. When you cut it 11 inches in half, you get five and a half. So I cut it there, then I scored it at four and a quarter, and you get the regular five and a half by um, a quarter card. And I'm going to do this one landscape. And then the crumb cake is an eighth down, so it's five and three eighths this way by four and one eighth this way. And that's going to be, um, and what that does is that leaves a frame that I absolutely love to do when I layer <coughs> cards. I love the eighth inch frame. You can see that. So there you go. Um, so first we're going to stamp with the white because the white um, takes a while to dry. And I can pull out the heat gun and I can set it, but that would still take a little bit of time too. And this does not have to be perfect. Um, I like to ink it and get a lot of white on it. See that craft white there? So we're gonna take it, I'm trying to make sure that I'm in frame here. And we're going to first, let's do it on this way I want it to kind of I know that I'm going to do like a a center shaped type collage it's gonna be a lot of it's gonna be a grouped item see beautiful right then we're gonna ink it up again hope you guys can see this I'm trying to keep it on frame I'm trying to do a better job a better job of uh, walking you guys through this, a better job of um, keeping my mind focused. I don't do that, that often. I get so chatty Kathy that I'm going further away. Okay, so you see this is exactly the what I'm looking for because I'm going to create a um, center focused um, gosh, what do you want to call it? Like a collage of things there. So, um, there's that, and I'm going to set it aside to dry. So, I'm going to set it over here where it's not going to get damaged, and I'm going to close up my craft white. Okay, so the next thing, let me show you, I'm going to layer. I want, this is a doily, and it's usually a very vanilla doily, um, but I'm going to flip it over, and I'm going to use the white. The other thing that I'm going to do is, um, like I said, I want to use, um, I'm going to use washi tape to create some more, um, 
interest for the background. I'm going to use linen thread um, to create some interest. Um, these doilies are discontinued, but then we have these. Um, and I haven't broken them open yet because I haven't used all the others, so I'm waiting. <laughs> I like these because they're open. So it depends on what it is, what I'm going to do it on, right? Okay, so now let's get to, while that's drying, let's get to um, the other parts. Let's stamp. I have this stamped, but this wasn't exactly what I wanted. It has a, a, um, a not so great... Um, I don't, you can't see that, but I can see it, and it drives me nuts. So you will notice that this stamp has this, like, um, like a little knob. It looks like it's a directional thing, and it is. It matches this, so that you know when you put your die and you go to cut it out, it's going to match identical. So, see? They're right. So hold that up, and I'm going to do Blushing Bride. And the reason why I'm doing Blushing Bride, and it's funny, tap, 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 I have to do something. The reason why I'm doing Blushing Bride is because it's more of a muted pink. <clears throat> and I'm really kind of, it's going to have a little bit of some distressing on it. There. I like that one better. Okay. So I'm going to set that one to the side. My close blushing bride and I couldn't quite figure out what I wanted to do with this I was thinking of putting it on this wood background because it looks distressed so I did I stamped it on that wood background but I'm also going to cut it out with a the uh, layering circles and I'll show you that in a minute so I'm going to move everything to the side and bring my big shot over and let you see me cut these out. So right now, I've got, and I'm hoping you can see this. Where did my, right now I've got black here. So, what I wanna do is I wanna cut the bumble out. This is gonna be a longer video than what I'm usually aiming for, so. But I want you guys to see the process and not just skip around. <clears throat> so I'm gonna cut that. Real easy. It sticks because it's got a tape background on. And there's my bumble. I'm gonna poke with my little piercing tool. I'm gonna poke the, the extra pieces out and there's my bumble. So I'm going to lay him to the side and I'm going to do away with this black cardstock. Knock my pieces in the trash. Whoa, not all of them came out. Whoa, this thing is loved, loved, loved. I'm telling you. Okay, so now for my floral, I'm going to line it up and I use washi tape. This is a retired washi tape from. I think this one is from Cool Treats. Um, love it, but um, it is retired, so I've got to use it, right? I'm in love, love, love with it. So I'm going to tape here to help the piece stay <clears throat> and stay exactly where I want it because I lined it up with all the grooves of the flower. I lined it up with all the round edges of the flower. You can see it's almost like a puzzle. It fits. Perfect. I'm sorry for scooching everything here. Everything's scooching around on me. Okay. Now, that one didn't stick. Pull it up and pull the washi tape with it. And it will sometimes, yes it does. I didn't if you'll rub the washi tape on your, and I'll probably do it again in just a second, but get the washi tape and rub it. Um, you can stick it to you so that uh, skin keeps it from being as sticky. 
you can do that you can stick it on your jeans but this is that's pretty good just to do, especially if you have lotion it won't stick that much but it'll stick just enough to keep it in place so that's my flower and we're going to do one other step with this and I'll show you in a minute I'm going to put it with my bumble and I'm going to set this to the side and grab my thinking of you today and then okay here it is I think I think this is the one that I used did I put it back did I drop it no I dropped it Hang on. sorry I know y'all didn't see that right this is the smallest circle in the layering circles framelits. I'm sure you guys can see all that because I've got it up so high. The layering circle framelits dies and it has scalloped, so it has a lot of cute ones. So this is the smallest one. It really doesn't, I'm gonna flip it around so that I can put my washi tape on this side. And all I do is just make sure that I've got the same amount of space on all sides because it doesn't really match exactly. There is a punch that this matches. I don't have it. So I'm using that. You don't have to have everything. You know, I keep telling myself that. I don't have to have everything. I don't have to have everything. I can make it work. I can make it work. <laughs> but then I see it and I want it, so I want everything. Okay. Now, there's that. And it looks distressed. It looks like it's some wood. I really like it. So now I think I'm through. No. I think I wanted to do one more piece of Whisper White with this because that's not quite sturdy and I was worried it would. And it doesn't matter where I put it. I'm not cutting anything out in particular. So you guys see that? It's going to go in here. And I'm going to line my plates up. And run it through. Round and round she goes. Where is she stops? No one knows. There we go. And that way, let's get this washi off of it. I don't know if you can see that. That way, because this designer series wood wood paper is a little thin, so um, if I really want it to be thick, I'll glue it, and I probably will. Okay, set this to the side. All right, now. Yeah back to business right and um, and you can see that this is drying it still has some wet areas so we're going to um, hang on just a minute and hopefully it'll be dry by the time we get through so I am going to um, what do you what would I say not fortify this but um, build it up some I guess so that it's not so flimsy so I put some monotumbo glue there my best friend is monotumbo glue I don't know that or fast fuse who knows okay so we're gonna set this to the side and let it dry now we've got some other stamping to do so um, we're still gonna let that dry so I'm gonna take soft suede or no Sahara sand not soft suede and I've got it all over me. That's not good. And uh, my little dauber. And you can see that it has some. And what am I going to do is I'm going to go on the edges. And get the edges dark. I hope you can see these. See this. See these. See these. Um, edges. I want darker. So I'm putting some full um, um, ink, I guess. It's not as wiped off as it will be in a second. So now that you've gone all the way around with it, just go ahead and get as much of the ink off as you can. And let's start really coming back in on some of the sides. And we're going to sponge some ink closer to the center and it kind of antiques it a bit and that's sort of what I want with this card I want it to look antique okay so there's that actually I think what I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna do this to the edges of the doily 
although I want it to be white, I want the white to show because my base card is white. I still want some antiqued edges. So there we go. It, you really can't see it. <laughs> um, sometimes you can't see everything that I can see. I promise you it's there. Okay, so there. And then there's, um, well, okay, so that's it for that. Um, and I think, yeah, see, it's almost dry. What I'm going to do is, because I don't really need it to be that strong, I'm going to get another sheet of paper. And on some of the parts that I can see aren't so dry. I could use paper towel if I had one near me, which I think I've got one right over here. But that's actually looking better. Let me grab a piece of paper towel. Can you tell I love butterflies? Every time I see paper towels and butterflies, I grab them. Okay, so now let's create our background. We've got this. And if we just put this on it, you know, it'd be gorgeous, but it wouldn't give the interest that I want. So now I'm just going to randomly place um, some washi tape. I'm going to use this color. It's close to Blushing Bright, or um, it's a pink. Then I'm going to grab this one. I think this is the one that I used previously. And I'm going to do it again. Just put it on here. You will barely be able to see this, okay? It's just not <clears throat> in different um, areas, different lengths. we got to have some black because my bumble's a black, of course. Okay. And so then... And we've got to have a little bit more glue time to to draw. So what do you think of that? There's one more piece of um, burlap ribbon that I also want to put down too. See? So I'll put that down too. So you won't see it that much. And this is this one's long. Um, so now let's put some glue here. And then I will show you... Um, what I do. So I just kind of go along. I kind of want the edges to be free flowing. And it's not, you won't see that a whole lot if I make a huge mess. So I'm going to put this down, this doily down. See how that edge is flipped up? Because when I was, that's good. That's good with me. I like that. And this one needs to flip up. Flip them up in a couple of places. And if you have to, I think there's some Glue on that one and if you have to use your piercing tool to get you started do it okay my fingers are all with glue on them now okay so we got that and now and I'm out here without any snips isn't that great I have another table where I'm working on a party and that party, I've got to get a lot of cards made for. It's a um, sort of a Christmas party. It's going to be an online uh, party, per se. <laughs> and, um, and I'm excited about it. And I definitely am really getting going on it. And I hope that it starts. And I hope that it's successful. And I hope that people like it. More than anything, I want to inspire you. I want to inspire you to do something creative. And, you know, these cards are awesome and they're cool. And, you know, they're just something that if you create it for someone, they're like, oh my gosh, you did that for me. Wow. Okay, now I need Stampin' Dimensionals. And I'm over here without Stampin' Dimensionals. I'll step aside. And of course, I wouldn't have any easy peasy to find. 
fine. Isn't that fabulous? Always happens. Okay, but then I'm going to use these because they're the same. They're these are the same. Okay, so now with these, so I'm thinking that I'm going to kind of collage these there, and they're going to be up. They're going to be propped up, stamped up, or um, dimensional. So, and then I've got to have my big scissors out here, my all-purpose scissors. And I'm definitely going to put another in the middle. And I got, don't let me forget my linen thread either. <clears throat> but um, making cards isn't all I do. I like to do 3D projects. I like to do um, frames um, for people. I love, love, love it. Um, let's get this one with some of these you can bend. So, heck, I could just go around and bend it like this and get a little bit more on and but I love these I'll just go ahead and use all that right <clears throat> so there we go with that one too right so I'm going to leave those there and put this aside get my linen thread Get a little of it out. I probably I may not use all that, but and what I want to do is a, it doesn't need to be neat. You've seen me do thread before, or if you haven't, check out my other videos because I do love the thread. And then I'm going to take this flower and I'm going to put it behind it. And then, since that, now this is really thick, so since that's taking up some of the space, I'm going to go ahead and put me some monotombo on there so that even that will stick down and it won't. So I'm going, I'm going, good heavens alive, I can't talk today. I'm going to put that down like that. Wipe off the glue get my thinking of my friend today and pop it right there get my little bumble and in another card you can put backgrounds on this bumble to color him in but I'm not going to but what I am gonna do I think I did the wrong side I did egad anyway we're gonna do this side <laughs> he'll dry he'll dry and I, I want him to be kind of up here, like this. Like that. Not exactly totally on the flower, not exactly off the flower. What do you think? Okay, let's finish. Let's finish this card. I'm gonna flip it over like this. Grab my fast fuse. Holy cow, not even that's working properly for me. And I know a few people's going to laugh at me because I know that they think I'm silly for coating a lot of coats of the Fast Fuse on. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, laugh. Um, you're only supposed to use very little of that stuff. That's, that's why it's... Um, it's an expensive fuse and there we go I've got my border I've got my front and when this dries you can send that off and it's absolutely beautiful it's sort of like a shabby chic maybe mm -hmm. maybe maybe so so you can see all the elements but you can't see all the elements in a way and there it is and then I can write a note to my very good friend let them, letting them know that I'm thinking of them and it's a card that I hope that they would like so there you go you guys have any questions feel free to let me know and email me um, here um, any crafting questions or anything else talk to you later
Thanks. Bye, guys.